Hello, Cheapskaters. My name's Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We're so happy you could join us. This is the last part of my Gorilla Grocery Shopping series, for now anyway. And of all the skills that make you a Gorilla Shopper, this one may seem odd because it's not necessarily shopping, but it gives you food security and self-reliance. It will help keep the shortages out of your pantry and food in your baby's bellies. And of course, it's going to keep more money in your purse. And right now, with mortgage interest rates rising and talk of them going up another 2% before the end of the year and grocery prices jumping almost every day, it seems, this last step is important. It's really simple too. If you are really serious about keeping your grocery bill down, you need to grow at least some of the food you eat. And straight away, someone is going to roll their eyes and moan about this old chestnut. She's always on about growing your food and wondering why I can't come up with something new and exciting. Well, you know, folks, if you are serious about keeping your grocery bill down, if you are serious about saving money on groceries, if you are serious about building your pantry, then you need to get serious about growing some food. If you're worried about food shortages, you need to grow some food. If you grow some food, you'll stop rolling your eyes and you'll be eating. Now, you can grow veggies anywhere if you use your eh, imagination. They don't need to be in a plot on the ground. Not everyone is an expert gardener, which can sometimes stop a potential future gardener in their tracks. Now, I'm not by any means an expert. I'm still learning with every seed and seedling I plant. Gardening, however, is just like anything else you are not familiar with. If you don't try it, you will never know how to do it. You will never know whether you like it. You will never know how successful it can turn out. When you're learning how to drive, you take lessons and you practice. When you begin gardening, it's best to start out small. Read up on the subject. Talk with other people who have years of expertise behind them. Other more seasoned, seasoned, other more seasoned gardeners have little tips and tricks that you can add to your wheelbarrow of gardening experience. Begin your gardening. Yeah. Begin with the basics. Start with something simple like lettuce. <laughs> Straight away, you've, you'll have kept at least $6 in your purse because this week, iceberg lettuce, $5.99 each. If you had one or two varieties of tomatoes, they were $8.90 a kilo. And another vegetable or two, then that's just fine to begin your new gardening hobby. Now, not only is gardening a great way to save money and eat fresh with no pesticides, but it's an amazing way to get the whole family involved. If you have younger children, it teaches them responsibility while they can literally see the fruits of their labour. They can see the lettuce growing. They can see the strawberries are growing because that's another plant that's really easy to grow. Strawberries pretty much look after themselves. If you're growing just lettuce, tomatoes and cucumbers, well, they're the basic salad ingredients for the summer. And it cuts around $300 off your grocery bill. And I know I was shocked and I triple checked my costings and figures. $300 off your grocery bill for just one summer. If you're on the $300 a month grocery plan, straight away you've got your grocery money for a month. Now your seeds have cost you about $15. And I suggest you buy heirloom seeds if you can get them. But any seeds will do. 
and you'll have more than enough to keep you in salad veggies for the summer and with succession planting, which just means that you plant, space your plantings. So you'll plant six lettuces this week and six in a fortnight and six in another fortnight. Then if you succession plant through into autumn, you'll cut even more from your grocery bill with just a few seeds, a few minutes each day to water and then harvest, you've kept $300 in your purse. $300 that you can use to restock your pantry with other things you need or $300 that covers the costs of inflation on your grocery bill. Look, I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Believe it or not, I'm busy too. And some days I don't want to work in the garden. I absolutely need to force myself to get out there. I ache and it's cold here right now and it will be so easy to just stay inside by the fire. But my grocery money isn't going as far as it was even a month ago. So I have a couple of options. I can either earn more money or I can find ways to stretch the money I have. One of the ways I stretch the money we have is by growing some of our own food. And you know what, if I'm being honest, once I get out there, I get into the garden and I get the gloves on and I start digging in the dirt, I absolutely love it. It's a happy place. It's a place where I can think and plot and plan in peace. Nobody bothers me. And at the same time, I'm doing something to build our pantry and to ensure we have food security. Because if I know I can feed my family, I'm happy. I don't stress. Whatever comes my way, whatever the world chooses to throw at me, whether it be another lockdown, another pandemic, um, inflation, if I know I can feed my family, we have food security, I'm happy. A full pantry, and that includes what's in the garden, is just that, food security for my family. And it can be for your family too. We don't need to go hungry. We don't need to worry about food shortages if we become guerrilla shoppers and make sure our own pantries are secure we can do that each one of us seven steps and we can have food security on a budget now this concludes my gorilla grocery shopping series i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope it's been a help to you as prices rise as your grocery money needs to stretch as things become scarce and we need to find substitutes. I hope you've learned at least something from the series. So before I go, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me, then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel. please feel free to leave a comment. I read them all and I do my best to answer each one, especially if there is a question in that comment. And like us, <laughs> thumbs up, please. That really helps us too. And one last thing, if you know someone who might like this video or who might like to know about Cheapskates Club, there's a share button. Just click it and it sends them the link. All these things help YouTube grow, but more importantly, they help our channel grow. They help it to be recognised more easily, and the easier it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done, even in today's crazy, crazy world. Happy cheapskating, everyone.